Hi everyone, welcome to Crack the Vault. This is Deb Houck with Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. And today, um, the object of this collab hosted by Poet Spice, first of all, is to pull out items that are six months or older and or never used. Um, so I got this with Stampin' Ups, the beginning of their 2324 annual catalog, which was like last May. And I had not used it. I just spent time and, and took four items out and put the stickers on. This one, this one, the leveled up and the happy birthday because my son plays games. Um, he's a second shift worker and when he comes home, when I'm trying to sleep or sleeping, he's usually playing games or doing whatever. Um, so that is my pulled out of my crack the vault stash right i haven't used it yet i need a birthday card for next week i also am using these these are not six months old and i have used them these are by stampin up they're called the deckled circles dies and they're in their current september december mini catalog i don't know if they're still available but i used the one two three four i think the sixth and seventh ones in from the edge there's a lot of them and big sizes down to little sizes oh Maybe I'll use that little one for something. Um, and then the papers I'm using, I'm making a five by seven card. You can make five by seven cards from eight and a half by 11 inch card stock. You just cut on the 11 inch side, you cut it to 10. And on the eight and a half side, you cut it to seven. And then you score the 10 inches at in the middle at five. And there's your five by seven. So unlike A2, you don't get two cards out of one piece of cardstock. You get one and two strips like this, which I'll save and certainly use for something. <clears throat> um, so that's a five by seven. And then the designer paper I'm using is called um, Stargazing, which is by Stampin' Up. It's got the planets and stuff, and that's in their annual catalog. And it is six months or older, but I have used it once, I think. And then the cardstock I'm using is called Starry Sky. And then I'm bringing in some holographic paper, also stamping up, and I'm just using the holographic one. Um, they have um, Starry Sky, and also there's a Berry Burst one. I think you get two or three. Oh. I don't know now. There's this one. Oh, I, I might like that better. Eh, I, you're not going to see too much of it, so I'll just stick with what I had. Anyway, it says, now I'm confused. It says Berry Burst Starry Sky and Holographic, but I don't, oh, here's Berry Burst, sorry. But for some reason, I've got Holographic Plane, and then I have this holographic this kind which is really cool I didn't know that was in here because I <laughs> and the starry sky color it looks like that it almost looks purple but anyway um, that's what I'm using and I thought I'd do a process video because it's been a while since I've done that now for the crack the vault collab hop along thing I may just only show you the you know, the finished parts. So I have cut this out of the holographic and this piece of white is uh, basic white cardstock from Stampin' Up! But you can use any white that you have that's good for stamping, like Nina, Solar White or whatever. I'm going to use my Memento and I'm gonna color it with some alcohol markers, probably the Stampin' Up! ones. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, probably I have more colors in that to do the you know, little buttons and stuff. So let me stamp, and then I pulled out the plus one. I already showed you this, I think, leveled up and happy birthday. And I'm not sure of the positioning on all this stuff yet. So let me stamp, and I, I have a chamois, but I pulled out this Swedish dishwashing cloth, which is really good for um, cleaning your stamps too. The chamois is good too but it's really dry and i didn't have time to um soak it to get it wet again and clean it 
I really should throw it in the... Also, the dishwashing cloth is good to clean ink you get on your fingers off. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Off to a good start, right? You can use whatever stamping platform you have if you so choose. But I'm not going to right now. So I think we're going to do all our stamping first. I'm going to kind of... Well, I was going to put it on the edge, but you know what? It's a circle. You can turn it however you want, right? So that's fine. Let me clean that off real quick. Simple, simple. And I'm going to go ahead. I pulled out some strips of white. Um, I don't know. I was torn between embossing, like iridescent or white embossing powder on um, Starry Sky, but I'm just going to do this and then maybe we'll put holographic. These are leftover half inch strips of white cardstock. Oh, and what do you know? I actually got that pretty straight. I'm going to leave that there because you never know. I might mess it up. I'm going to stamp the leveled up as well. Actually, we'll stamp that on this other piece, just because. And that's very crooked, so we'll stamp it on this one instead. <laughs> Part of the issue is I can't see and my headphones are sliding off my head when I lean over. So sorry about that. That's also very crooked. So now that this one's dry, let's flip it over and um, try again on this one. So I'm aiming down, it seems like. And now I think I, oh no, it worked, yay. It looked like I overcompensated, but I, I did okay. I have one more thing to stamp. And that is this little plus one. And I thought I had a little piece of paper here for it. But I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. It was tucked under my uh, chamois thing. I don't know how it got there. Alright, let's try this. This one I might... I'm going to put it in the center. I probably could have got that a little darker, but it's okay. Um, all right, let me get rid of the ink off my table here. And I'm thinking I might, this should be an easy fussy cut, like fussy cut it out for the holographic shows. And this one though, I think I could fussy cut it, but I think I'm going to make it like another little planet kind of thing with this deckled circle. So let me turn around and die cut that real quick. There we go. And put that on here so I don't lose them. And I think that's all I'm going to use those for. So I am going to put them down in my drawer so I don't lose them. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put my stamps all off to the side because, yeah, I need room. I'm, like, out of room. Okay. So, I'm kind of thinking, positioning-wise, we'll have this kind of floating around here. I could put, like, the happy birthday across here and have the leveled up as one of these over here kind of thing. That's how I'm kind of leaning. But I could put that either on this starry sky paper, I'll cut it down of course, or a strip of the holographic. Um, let me find that. I know it's glary, sorry. I'm just seeing how I would like it. I think I would like that, and actually I might get out I cut another bigger circle for this. Let me do that and I'll come right back. Okay, so I cut things out. I glued this together. I did flag this one too. 
and um, on both sides though. And I have this little tape runner. I don't remember <laughs> where I got it from. Let's see, it said, oh, scrapbook.com. Um, so I guess I've had it for a little while and hopefully that will stick on the foil paper. And of course now my phone is gonna start up. <laughs> Pretty good. And let's do that here. I don't like using um, wet glue when I have adhere things to the um, foil, holographic or foil paper. I don't know, it's just me. So that's going to be like that. And then this will go across here after I get that placed on and colored up. And I think this will go something like this. I'll just kind of have it haphazard. So the next thing is I need to color this and I need to decide if I want any kind of ribbon or trim going down. I don't think so because it's for a guy, you know. And you don't get that often in cards. This is great granite. I'd rather use Smoky Slate. Like, I don't remember. It's been a while since I used it, but the buttons usually are different colors, right? So we're going to make the cross thing. Maybe I'll make that dark starry sky. I don't know. These are small spaces here. I'm not the best colorist, but I thought I would do this with you. And if you don't want to watch it, you can zoom ahead. Maybe what I'll do is just leave everything in, but I'll have like chapters or something. So that's dark. And then we'll do two blue and two red over here. And that was light, so is this light or dark? Dark. Let's use light. Real red. And I don't think, I think there's usually some yellow too, so let me see what color this is. This is Dark Daffodil Delight. And I'm just gonna do some of these buttons here. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Maybe. I think I'll put a green light there. That might be like the on button. I don't, I don't know. I have this light Call Me Clover. This is a retired color. I'll put that down here. That might be like the on. Shows it's on. And I have no idea what that is. So, now we'll just use mostly gray. So I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm going to go around the edges of each of these buttons with this dark smoky slate. And maybe this thing here, whatever this is. And these little buttons. Kind of goof that one up just a tad. It's hard because even this nib end is kind of big. And then uh, this one. I'll just do the whole thing in dark. And then the rest of it, I'm going to maybe I'll draw and highlight this line. All these lines. Okay, and the rest is going to be very easily done with my light smoky slate. Okay. 
I'm using the brush end, but this is one thing I don't like about the Stampin' Up! markers is the brush um, isn't quite stiff enough. It It is when you first get them, but then it gets, you know, it gets too soft and it's all bendy. And it's very hard to control it then. So I do not like that. And I have had an issue with some of the lids, like this whole part coming out when you pull the lid off. In fact, I just ordered, they had a free shipping day on December 14th. And I ordered a new shaded spruce because of that problem. And one other color I can't remember. And I previously got from my demonstrator as a gift for ordering, I got a pumpkin pie one, I think think it was for the same reason plus the light was getting dry so and the other thing I don't like is you can no longer you used to be able to order them singly and you can't do that anymore so and I don't tend to use the dark colors as much as I do the lights especially for ones like um Oh, now I'm going every which way. Like Pool Party um, and Petal Pink and even Flirty Flamingo because I like that shade of pink for in like animal inside their ears. Although maybe the bubble bath would work for that now too. I don't know. I haven't really used it much. I haven't done much stamping lately. And um, I'm going to be doing a very small haul video <laughs> um, next and it's really more just uh, things I got in the mail and there's one little haul and one must have and um, for me must have needed a necessary thing well I'm not terribly happy with this coloring because I got it all blotchy streaky usually looks better when it dries right but you know it's all right because it's a controller you know it's gonna have fingerprints all over it right <laughs> that's my story and i'm sticking to it i don't know if he even uses this kind of controller i think he just uses his laptop but anyway for most um he does have some controllers for one of those games i think he's using a nintendo or, or what's the new one called? Snitch or something? Twitch? I don't know. I am not up on that stuff. So that's the coloring. So now let's decide. Oh, no, I need that light back. Let's do this too. And I might not have the colors the way they usually are, but it's okay. It's my game controller, right? And actually, I'm kind of thinking I used light real red, but I think I kind of want to darken them a little bit with the dark real red. Yeah, definitely. Maybe could go over those yellows again, too. I just don't think they're quite bright enough. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> um, so should I fussy cut that? I'm almost thinking I should fussy cut that out, and then I'm almost thinking then I could probably use a smaller circle. But I was actually originally thinking, um, maybe I won't fussy cut it because I'm going to have it on its side and then have this go like this. But I think I'm going to go around the edge of this white with uh, Starry Sky and then we'll just glue these down and then that'll be it other than the inside of the car. Let me see something. When it feels like game over, always choose play again. Uh, I guess nothing else for the inside. I could stamp this on the inside like a champion. 
nah, I think I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> All right, let's just do this. I don't think I'm going to put any ribbon on here either. I'm going to keep this very simple. Let's just color around the edges of this a bit. Let me get the starry sky. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and you know what? I'm okay if it bleeds. Let's use the dark alcohol marker because, oh no, I have the, um, I have this. So we don't have to make a mess with blending brushes and stuff. I just want it to kind of pop off the holographic foil a little better and maybe not be so um, bright white. I hope you're all having a good week. Are you all set for the holidays? I am not. I think I'm done my shopping now. I just need to go to the bank and get some money out before the holidays and I need to wrap and <laughs> I haven't gotten my Christmas cards addressed yet. That's on the table for today so I can mail tomorrow. It was on the table for last Monday, but yeah, didn't happen. Um, I already glued that one down, so I won't go around the edge of that. Does that even look good? And you know what? I'm going to look for some gems, so let me find some and I'll be right back. Okay, I found these retired cute stars adhesive back sequins, and these are in, it doesn't fade on there, but they're like a holographic. They look sort of purpley. But I think they'll do all right. Okay, so let's get this together. I'm going to get my tape runner thingy. And go like that. And adhere that down. Let's, I'm going to glue this down. The other side is bright orange, <laughs> which I believe is pumpkin pie color. I'm not sure. So this is a pretty easy card, but you know, my son doesn't really care about cards. He's getting a pretty fun gift inside the card, which is another reason I wanted a 5x7. He doesn't watch my videos, I can tell you, but, and he's done this before, but I have not. Um, we, my, m my son and I, and my daughter, and her husband, and her two children, we're going to all go to an escape room for Christopher's birthday, except that. He's going to get the gift on his birthday, but we're not going to go till like the 30th of December. Mm, put this one this way. That one straight across. I think, let me get a dimensional or so. I'm going to put a dimensional here, but glue over here. And I think that'll work. It's a little bit lopsided, but not too bad. You know what? I forgot to take the backing off. Yeah, yeah. No wonder it's sliding. There we go. Does that look all right? Straightish. It's okay, huh? I think I'm gonna bump these up too. Because why not? This is not going in the mail. It's just going to be handed to them. So. And this one as well. I do need to find an envelope. <laughs> I think I have some. I'll find some. You know what? 
I'm going to move that one over to the middle. I was going to put two there, but I don't feel like it needs it. Because it's pretty thick with the holographic paper on the back. Yeah, this way. All right, and let me put the glue down and then let me get my pokey thing and try and get some of these stars off. You could use the black ones. Yeah. I think that's enough. What do you think? I like it. Maybe I should have used the black stars. Yeah, it's okay. So the only other thing I have to do is um, I need to get a piece of white paper and cut it to five by seven because I don't have any big enough. So let me find a piece of white paper. And we will cut this to, how am I going to do this? Five, we'll do it this way. Which is the opposite of how I did it for making the card base. And then this I have to open up. And take this all the way to, oh, mm, six and a half. <laughs> Oops, oops, and that's, I don't, ah, what am I doing? I don't know. This needs to be four and a half. Four and, oh, what did I just do? Well, we'll go in to four and a half. Let me make sure that's right. It's five by seven cards, so four and, I should have been four and three quarter by six and three quarter. But we'll manage with this, right? Oh no, well, well that works. You know what, it's skinnier than it is. I need to cut a quarter inch off the, off the bottom. So I think I did it at six and three quarter, but then I went too skinny on the, on the other way. All right, that's better. And this I'll save for sentiments. <laughs> um, I think, where's that stamp? I do want to do that little, just that champion thingy cup thing. Oh, there's another controller thingy. Huh, that's all right. We're using what we have. Oh, and I need the stickers. Stickers. And I need a block. Little, little block, right? Yep. Now, if you have a stamping platform like Stamparatus or a Misty or whatever, you can certainly use those instead. I have just the Stamparatus, which Stampin' Up! no longer sells. We won't go into that, but you know. Um, so you, you're getting to see how I put the labels on the blocks too, on the stamps. Put the sticky on the block. Peel this off and put it down. And the hard ones are the sentiments because it's hard to know, but the other stamps mostly are shaped so you can tell. And then you just go down like that and it's stamped. So now we're going to just stamp that. If I can find my ink again, I put it where it's supposed to be. <laughs> That's amazing, huh? Okay, and we'll just put that right down here in this corner, because he's a champ. He's having a little bit of a rough week, two rough weeks. All right, I still have, where's that yellow? I'm going to use the yellow for the center star, the dark daffodil delight.
I might actually just add a little color. I'm going to do like that. So it'll be like gold and silver kind of thing. You know? And we'll just use light um, smoky slate. A gel pen would be cool in a silver too. In fact, I might find some sparkle gel pens and use on those buttons. <laughs> I forget I have these things because when I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you know, there's a fuzzy or something on there. Um, whatever wasn't stamping up, we weren't supposed to use, so I forget to use things sometimes. Including my old stamps. I'll use the dark for the inside. Oh, gosh, now I'm throwing papers and stuff around. All right. Uh, I went out of line. It's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. He's probably not even going to notice that. I don't know. It's like a little fuzzy there or something. I'm going to see if my little eraser will erase that. I have an ink eraser, but... Eh. <clears throat> anyway, let's just glue this in and be done. And maybe the gel pens, too. I hope to do more process videos in 2024, not for this collab because we're supposed to keep it short, but um, I'm just running behind. So there's my card. Nope, we have to find the gel pens or whatever these things are called. All right, I have, I can't get the whole basket. I have this blue, sort of a pink and I have a silver I have a yellow I know I have a yellow too somewhere there's a red and pretty sure I have a yellow I hope I have a yellow yes these are gl uh, glaze pens by Socorro I've seen people call them jelly roll pens but I don't know and let's see if I have one of those little scraps or something I can test my marker on. Yeah. That'll make them shine a little more, huh? Just a little. And maybe even on this part of the star. And then up here, doesn't seem to come out quite as good. And then the red. Um, I need the yellow again, and I actually need a green too, don't I? Oh no, I, I don't need a yellow again. But I need a green. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but that definitely makes it sparkle a little more. Because, you know, I like sparkle too. I don't know if I have a green. I should. Hmm. Was there no green in there? Oh, there's this kind of teal. Maybe that'll work. Okay. 
Got to have the on button glowing too, or the on light or whatever it is. I don't even know. Maybe that's where the plug goes in. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that is it, my friends. My finished birthday card. I just had to find an envelope, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. I had fun making it. Very simple, but I think effective. And just inside, I'll just write my message to my son and put, um, I might put a little pocket over here. Okay, hang on. I thought I was done. Because I have to fold up a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper. I have this scrap. Which will fit perfectly. I'm going to cut this in half and put a little finger no notch on it. So how big is this? This is about five, so two and a half. And then we'll figure out which side we want. I think I like the one that has a little more blue in it. This one has a little more blue in it. This is more the black. And we're going to find a little, I have a three quarter inch punch right here. I would have preferred one inch, but it's further back in the drawer. So I'll just make this a little deeper, straighten it up, pop, and then we're going to glue that down and then we'll be done. <laughs> do you do that? Do you like keep on going. Um, I'm going to use my wet glue to glue this down just along the edges. Normally I prefer like tear and tape or something, but honestly I don't think this card will get much use other than the initial opening. So my son's birthday is Tuesday the 19th and he is a grown man. He's turning 36. <laughs> my daughter, we went walking when we went to my granddaughter's. Um, she was in the Christmas holiday parade with her Girl Scout troop and um, we were, anyway, my daughter and I took a walk while we were waiting for her to get down towards the finish and um, she informed me she's going to be 48. They are 12 years apart, roughly. So, you know, once that dries, that should hold fine, and I'll have to cut it or fold the paper a little thinner. So there we are. Now I'm done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and um, please go visit Poet Spice, who is the host of this fine collab, and also go check everyone else who's in the collab, who will be linked below. And yes, we are continuing this collaboration next year. I don't think everybody is joining, but most people are. So we still have quite a few people in the collaboration and it's a lot of fun and it gets us using things in our stash that have been sitting on the, on the shelf or in a box or wherever on the floor in my case, cause there's stuff everywhere. Anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hugs, love, and peace. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Bye for now.